Hi everyone, it's Agnes here and today I'm going to take you through two scenes and it's going to help you to learn to construct an imaginal scene. Now the first one's going to be a wonderful trip, someplace you've always wanted to go and the second one is for a secure loving relationship. Okay, so close your eyes and just get centered, just become aware of your breath in and out, in and out, in and out. Now bring your awareness to your heart center and start to just feel what it feels like in that area, in the heart chakra, the heart center, and be aware. And just know what feeling is the main feeling you have there today. And breathe in for four. And breathe out for four. And breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. Now bring your awareness up to your mind's eye, behind your forehead, the black screen of your mind. And I'd like you to think about a place you've always wanted to go to. A place that just draws you in. Anytime you see pictures, anytime you hear of someone going there, you just get that, oh, I just so want to go there. So just see the word of the place, whether it's a country, a city, an island, just see the word written in white across the black screen of your mind. Now, I'd like you to imagine that you are hopping on a plane near you, your nearest airport. You've booked a trip for two, you and someone else, someone you want to take with you family, friend, or a specific person or a child and think of yourself with your boarding pass in hand or your Apple wallet because these days you can scan your boarding pass off your phone and just imagine the two of you all excited waiting in the waiting lounge. You can see all the other people around you. You see their luggage that they're going to take on board with them. You've got a little carry on. And you are walking towards the desk. And they ask for your passport and your boarding pass and you hand it to them, they scan it, they say thank you in whatever language of your country and the two of you walk down the corridor, the tube that they take you onto the plane with and you slowly, slowly make your way to the entrance of the plane. Now just be aware that you can smell the engine fuel. You can feel whether it's a really hot day or a cold day. And you finally get to the entrance of the plane. You give them your boarding pass and they tell you which way to go. They smile at you and say thank you, as you do also. And you move your way 
towards your seat. And you sit down. And you put your bag under your seat. You put your seat belt on. And you wait for the takeoff. And breathe in for four. And breathe out for four. And breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. Now you feel the plane slowly moving to the runway. You're looking out the window. You've got the good fortune of having a window seat, if that is your preference. And you see the plane moving. You hear the announcements, them telling you that this is the flight number and you are flying to your desired location. And then you feel the plane start to rev its engines and start to move faster and faster until the plane lifts off and it feels like you're sticking to the seat and the tail is going to drag and hit the tarmac. It never does, but it always feels like it's going to. Ah, that feeling of freedom of being stuck to the seat, that feeling of knowing you are going to where you want to go, that feeling of joy that you are going on this amazing holiday. You feel this joy, this excitement, this pleasure, this relief, this happiness. It's finally happening. Ah, and breathing in for four and breathing out for four and breathing in for four and breathing out for four. Now as you are flying, just imagine them giving you refreshments, a drink, tea or coffee or a juice or a soda water, whatever it is that you like, they come around and ask you, what can we offer you again in your language? And you might buy a snack or you might get some peanuts and you are just well aware that you are on the plane with people that are going to the same destination as the two of you. Now, fast forward a little bit to the end of the journey. The plane is about to land. You see the lights get closer and closer as you feel the plane dropping further down towards your destination and you feel your ears start to block up you swallow to clear them and the plane finally lands a smooth landing and slowly slowly comes to a full stop now you grab your bags and you slowly with all the other passengers exit the plane towards the airport. Now if you have some extra bags you go to the baggage claim and you wait, you watch the bags come around and your suitcase in the color that you know that it is comes around and you grab it. You see the bag tag and you are now ready to go on your way to your Airbnb, your hotel, or any other location that you are going to sleep in. So just say to yourself, I am here. I have made it to this incredible place that I've always wanted to come to. Feel the joy. Ah, feel the excitement, the fun, 
that you have done it now. Look around you, what do you see? What are the very specific elements and characteristics of this place that is meaningful to you? Now you've decided to catch either a bus, a train, a tube, a taxi to your location or a rickshaw depending on what country you are in and you are helped to load your bags into this particular mode of transportation and you go to your hotel or Airbnb or wherever you're going to sleep. So now you enjoy the ride, you look out the window as you move towards it and you're extremely happy that you are here. Today is day one of your wonderful amazing holiday and breathing in for four and breathing out for four and breathing in for four and breathing out for four So now just let this scene fade back and fade away and know you can come back to it any time you choose. We are now going to enter the second scene or second imaginal scene to construct for a specific topic of a secure and loving relationship. It could be with someone specific, it could be an ex, it could be someone totally brand new. Again become aware of your breathing just to anchor you in, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. Become aware of your heart center and think of something that is easy to love. Someone, a child, a parent, a pet, your job, your boss, your best friend. Anybody that evokes love very easily, Think of them now because that is what we're going to inject into this relationship imaginal scene. So become aware of this feeling in your heart. Place your hand on your heart if it makes it a bit easier. And just be aware of how much you love this particular person or animal or job or thing. Now, feeling that feeling, just hold it there for a minute. Breathe in for four and breathe out for four. Again, breathing in for four and breathing out for four. Now, bring your awareness up to your mind's eye behind the black screen of your mind and just begin to enter into this scene. So look out your own eyes, put your hands in front so you can actually look down and see your hands and it will help you to start to imagine from the first person so that you are included in the scene. So I'd like you to imagine that you are at home. It is a Saturday evening. You've got a lovely meal, something that's your favorite for tonight. And 
a very wonderful, extremely attractive person of your choice. It could be someone known or unknown, doesn't matter, but someone that has the qualities that you want. And you hear that they are approaching the front door. You've planned this evening together during the week and you're going to share a wonderful time of togetherness, watching a movie, having a meal, a very ordinary moment between you and this person. So you hear them knock on the door, you let them in, they give you a kiss on the lips, they say, hey, so good to see you, and they grab you and hug you. You feel the warmth of their body. You feel the softness of their lips. You see the twinkle in their eye and you see that they've brought something that you love. Flowers, a bottle of wine, a cake. You can choose what they've got in their hands. They hand it to you and you feel really very special that they've thought of you during the day to go out and get this for you. You let them in, you shut the door, and they come into the kitchen with you. You're just serving up the food because the movie is about to start. You hand them their plate, a fork and a knife. They pour the drinks, and you are talking and laughing and conversing as you do this, and you walk into the living room. You've lit the candles. It's a lovely, lovely ambient romantic setting and you both snuggle up on the couch. The other person puts the TV on and the movie is just about to start. As you're sitting on the couch they feed you and you feed them. It's such a fun and silly thing to do but it's something that is just lovely and warm and inviting. <sighs> and breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. And breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. So you talk, you eat, you drink, you laugh, you're watching the movie and you are uh, now finished your food. You put the plates and the forks and the knives on the table and you snuggle into each other on the couch and you just enjoy this togetherness. Ah, say to yourself, I love this. I love this. This is exactly what I felt like doing tonight. I love our connection. I love our closeness, I love the person's smell, I love their laughter, their sense of joy, their sense of fun, their sense of just really loving to do the same things as I love to do. So you can see the TV, you can feel them, you can smell them, you can smell the food, using the senses to make this real. So now, cuddled up on the couch, not saying anything, just watching, enjoying, feeling secure and loved, and the feeling of being wanted and a priority and first best. <sighs> so now just let that scene gently fade back and fade away and know you can come back to it anytime you choose. So now I'm going to slowly count you out of this meditation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten. 
So now just slowly, slowly bring your awareness to the outside world. And become aware of the sounds inside and out. And say to yourself, for today, this is enough. This is enough. This is enough. It is done. So when you are ready, just gently and slowly open your eyes. So, while you are still coming back to this time and space, this is two examples of how to enjoy constructing an imaginal scene with as many of the senses active that are relevant to that particular desire and manifestation that you would like. Okay, keep it simple. Keep it just the way you would like it. Okay, it doesn't need to be grand or extravagant. It can be if you like, but I find it's the ordinary moments, those things that are unique to these experiences that anchor themselves more deeply in the mind and in the subconscious and then make it possible to hatch in the 3D world. Now, one of the viewers has given me B, a wonderful link to a Ho'oponopono song. So I'm going to put it down in the description below for those of you that would like to enjoy that. Thank you, B. Appreciate you sending that to me. And I hope you enjoyed this two part, two phase meditation, one for a wonderful trip and one for a secure and loving relationship. Lots of love, everyone. And I will see you in the next YouTube.